The world is a vampire. Sent to drain. Secret destroyers. Hold you up to the flames. And why do I get? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's me again, Silent Mike, your buddy, your friend. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Today we're going to talk about auto regulation, most commonly RPE, and a couple other factors that can allow you to adjust your training on the fly to make up for some shit that's going on in your life. Hopefully not too bad a shit, but sleeping wrong, eating wrong, walking, hiking, things out of the norm that may up the stimulus or stress and the fatigue and tra change up your training for that day. So, before we hop in, ladies and gentlemen, first check out that very pale yet very attractive, if I do say so myself, bicep peak. Connor was not impressed, but I'm working on it. I'm doing the best I can. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what topics you want me to cover in upcoming videos. We got some more training footage, some questions on the fly, raw training footage, and a couple of vlogs on the way for you guys. Let's hop into it. So, auto regulation just basically means that because we're not the same strength every single day and things change in our everyday life, unless you're a complete robot, but even then there's small factors in how we eat, how we train, uh, how we sleep, um, stress in our life coming from family or work or otherwise, bills, taxes, all those things play a role in how we will perform in the gym. And some of the times the factors we can't even account for that may uh, improve or decrease performance in the gym on a certain day, a certain time. Um, so the most commonly used is rate of perceived exertion, RPE, which is basically a method within training that allows people to adjust on the fly. Uh, it's a scale of 1 to 10, I think was first used in the military uh, for how fatigued or something um, a, a soldier feels or uh, an exercise feels. And then um, most popularly, Mike Tashir uses it in powerlifting and then now it's, it's very, very popular. But uh, basically you'd be prescribed your sets and your reps, your exercise, and then a RPE at the end. Uh, 10 basically means that you could do no more weight and no more reps. That's basically an absolute max for that day. Uh, that could be, again, max set, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10. Doesn't really matter. Exercise, doesn't really matter. It could be push-ups. It could be competition squat. It could be uh, block pulls, etc. cetera. Uh, something like a 9 uh, typically means that you could do maybe one more rep or who knows, 5 to 20 pounds, I guess, depending on how strong the athlete is. Uh, an 8 probably means you could do about two more reps, you know, 20 to 40 pounds, again, depending on how strong the athlete is, and so on and so forth. And again, this is just a way, oh, look at that 500, talk to your boy, uh, not too bad right there. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and more recently, um, you know, our boy Alan Thrall, my homie, uh, has been training um, using some RPE. And within that RPE, he has in his head visualized or set goals for his daily RPEs of that week or that day uh, and up and coming. Speak of the devil. We had some deadlifts right here together. And he starts um, setting a goal for that day, you know, saying, you know, this day, I want to pull, uh, I have to pull an RPE uh, 8 single, and I'd like it to be 585 pounds. And that's based on, um, you know, his, his training upcoming weeks and his overall strength. I'm just hitting some stiff legs with him. Alan will be hitting some normal conventional deadlifts, uh, hit a bunch of singles on squats, just to keep you updated on the footage. And uh, there's other ways to auto-regulate, uh, and that's basically what I'm getting to is RPE is great. It's a great tool. It works for many. Uh, I think it works for a lot of people, but I think you need a solid coach kind of leading your way with it. Otherwise, your perception um, of each thing may not be able to be correct or fine-tuned. Um, and that's the same as percentage or any other training. Uh, when you have a good coach or a solid coach prescribing these things or adapting them to you, you're always going to be better off. Um, and all I was going to say is how I train is almost backwards but ends up being the same as Alan. Where Alan has a set... RPE with an exercise is supposed to hit, and then he is visualizing a number that he wants to hit on that um, particular day, and then he'll obviously adjust as he gets into the exercise and sees how, you know, three plays feels, four plays feels, five plays feels before he makes the final call. I tend to have a uh, set number or percentage set for me or my athletes, 
And then my athletes are literally texting me video or comments during their session. And I personally am taking in um, information from how the squats, deadlift, whatever exercise is feeling. Uh, and then I will adjust accordingly based on bar speed or how beat up I feel or how explosive I feel. Sometimes if you've been training long enough, you'll just realize that some things feel, some days just feel strong. I can squeeze a deadlift bar a little bit harder. 400 pounds feels like 300 pounds. 500 pounds feels like 400. And you know, it's going to be a good day where obviously there's some opposite, you know, sometimes 400 pounds feels like 450. Here's a very uh, weak attempt at a double overhand. I think 405. I think I was just bragging to Alan how I think I did 455 or 495 for a double over uh, regular deadlift. But there's 405, I think, double over stiff leg. Oh, and then it slipped out of my hands. Point being that some type of auto-regulation is going to be optimal for everyone. What type of auto-regulation or how to adapt that to you and your training may differ. RPE is a great option. Um, having a set number of sets, reps, and load you're going to do for that day and then adjusting on the fly is a good option. Often when I write other people's um, programming, we'll have a range of sets or a range of reps. So you're going to do three to five sets of 8 to 10, and if you're feeling good, that's 4 sets of 10. If you're not feeling so good, that's 3 sets of 8. Another thing is obviously a load rep. Hey, we're going to do 3 sets of 3 from anywhere from 400 to 445. And then it's on the athlete, hopefully with experience and uh, uh, training within that day and self-awareness that they fix that themselves adjust accordingly as long as we're hitting somewhere on the target over a long period of time with progression progression overload we will get better shout out to my boy alan a super fast 585 hope you enjoyed the rambling the raw i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace i'm out of here thanks guys